If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. And we're joined by the head football coach of the Fayetteville Wolves. It'll be featured tomorrow night statewide on uh, our Alabama uh, High School Athletic Association WOTM Game of the Week, Coach John Limbaugh of Fayetteville. And Coach, uh, uh, big game uh, Thursday night against Thorsby. We'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, brought to you by Lori Darlings in Fayetteville, Alabama. And I know Coach John Limbaugh knows the importance of local business in the community right. and Lori Darling has mm -hmm. been one of those that's been real supportive. Oh, they're just fantastic and great food. Oh, and, yeah. uh, and they do a lot of uh, feeding for us on uh, Friday uh, evenings and, and they just do a great job. I appreciate Lori uh, so much. Uh, Lafette in town last Friday night and boy, once they got that running game going, it didn't slow down, did it? Yeah, I was ready for them to leave town. They, uh, <laughs> they really played a good ball game and they were the better team that night. We made some mistakes. Uh, we got down in the red zone and should have scored two or three times and, and didn't get it done. Uh, wasn't able to uh, uh, get points on the board. so. You know, it was six to nothing in the end of one, so we were doing pretty well. But then as the game marched on, yeah. we just wasn't able to accomplish that which we needed to accomplish. And, uh, you know, you, you go one-on-one -on -one with a lot of teams, and sometimes uh, it just doesn't go your way. Right. Uh, and, uh, for example, the loss of the fat, but the game tomorrow night uh, is a, a game that uh, is another region counter. And Thorsby comes to Fayetteville Farm Links Field and uh, a short week of work. And uh, how do you ha how are you handling that? Well, I think the kids are excited about the upcoming game. You know, Thorsby has become a, a rival for us, and uh, we we laid an egg against them last year. Didn't play very well last year, so our kids are looking uh, to play a better ball game this year. They're looking, and it's homecoming week. It's a big week. A lot of things happening there so you ask about the short week we'll also throw a homecoming in there mm -hmm. and it gets pretty busy but kids are, are resilient and, and kids like a busy life and uh, so they're they're doing quite well they're they're having a good week and uh, you know we've talked about homecomings for different schools here on the show uh, our coaches corner every week and at Fayetteville it really is homecoming <laughs> in a, in a close-knit community <laughs> like Fayetteville. It is. We'll have the uh, parade, and uh, our teams, will, our junior varsity, uh, which won last night at Horseshoe Bend. They finished the year at 4-2. and two. I'm very proud of Coach Rogers and what he's accomplished this year and, and uh, what those guys are capable of doing. And some of those will be moving up, of course, at the end of the year. And, and uh, then next year, uh, all of them will be moving up. Do you keep an eye on on that team as yeah. well? Oh, yeah. I, I've uh, been to four of their games this year, too. I wasn't able to attend uh, because they had varsity practice and mm -hmm. so forth like that. And last week, we had senior night at the volleyball game. I, I had to go to that. And then last night was just per preparation for the Thorsby game. Wasn't able to make it. But, uh, yeah, I keep up with them, of course. And they're, they're a bunch of great kids. And, and uh, they had a great time this year. And one of the games they lost, uh, Vincent was a very close game, lost in overtime. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but anyway, homecoming, you're asking about that, and it really is a great time at Fayetteville. We'll uh, have our pep rally, and then we'll get out on the street, and we'll have our parade, and the community will be lining the side oh, yeah. of the road, and it'll be a big deal. It's, it's huge. It's yeah. always a lot of fun. What concerns you on the field about Thorsby? Well, the quarterback, for one thing, he runs about a 4-5, if you let him, if you don't box him and let him get out on the edge, just, he can run the ball. And uh, their speed, their team's speed, uh, they got a couple of receivers, it's like six, three, six, four guys, so they got some height out there. Mm -hmm. So that's a concern for us. And, and they're going to be well coached. They're a well coached football team. They're going to come in ready to, uh, to beat us, so we're going to be ready to beat them. When you play a, a team like Thorsby where they've got a lot of speed, it's going to be certainly imperative that you make sure tackles. Right. Well, you got to make sure the tackles. And Coach Reed's done a great job this year of having the kids in space. Mm -hmm. And that, that means having them where they're supposed to be in the space to make a play. And, and they'll be in, in space uh, t tomorrow night. They'll be where they're supposed to be mm -hmm. on, the, on, the, on the field. Uh, our kids are well coached, and, and they know what's going on the defensive side of the ball. So I'm not concerned about that. It's just like you said, making those tackles, mm. hitting somebody, running through them, keeping those feet churning, and, and, and putting them on the ground. And uh, we got to get that done. Uh, not to be lost in the shuffle of all of this, uh, 
you feel good about your football team. They're in pretty pretty decent position. Yeah, we're we're four and two right now, and uh, you know, looking at it from the, the from the outside in, a lot of people say, "Where are you supposed to? Uh, you're not supposed to win that game against Real Town." Mm-hmm. Uh, Lafayette, we know who they are. We are getting to the point where we're expecting to win mm-hmm. games like that. It's just when when we lose, we know how to do it right. And uh, the score was a little bit uh, uh, more apart than we would have yeah. liked. But uh, actually, the, the, the game didn't go like that. The first half was a very, very close football game, and, and they did spread some things in the second half, and they had an opening return for a kickoff, return the first uh, uh, play of the second half, of course. And, and um, that hurts. That hurts kids when that happens. Yeah, you, know? you come out, you come out in the second half, and and that happens. It kind of yeah. kind of deflates you a little bit. It does, and we got the ball uh, moving a little bit better. We did some things offensive a little bit better. Was able to put twenty points on the board, uh, and they're you know, and they're somebody said, well, that's against their twos or whatever. That's fine. Their twos are pretty doggone good. Yeah. So uh, we were glad to get some points on the board, but um, yeah, if we hadn't let that kick. Uh, be run back if we had done our job and not allowed that to happen. That's just a real deflation. You go in the halftime, you make some adjustments, and, and we did and did some things that were a lot better uh, the second half in some respects. It just didn't, didn't play out for us. I guess it shows that, once again, that every play is an important play. Well, that's what we're trying to teach our kids, and that's, that's such a great point. Every play is an important play. You can't take a play off. Mm-hmm. The thing about it, at our school, you've got some kids that's going both ways. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I played, I went both ways and never wanted to come out of a game. And all that's fine and good. I understand the way they feel. You don't want to come out of a ball game. But at times, we need some rest. We mm-hmm. need to be able to catch our breath and get a little rest. And I think that happens to us a lot. And sometimes you find a kid wanting to take a playoff. Lord and behold, that's the time that that ball's going to find them every single time. <laughs> that ball's going to find them when they're trying to take a playoff. It was kind of like when I was playing softball. They'd stick me in right field, and nobody ever hit the ball in right field while I was out there. And they hit everything out there, and I missed everything out there. Too. There you go, man. That's exactly <laughs> uh, it. Coach John Limbaugh, the head football coach and athletic director at Fayetteville. Before we go, as an athletic director, you got a lot of sports going on now. Absolutely. Well, we, we got a lot of things happening. Basketball is starting to get tuned up. Uh, we have uh, cross country, and that's always a lot of uh, uh, fun. Miss uh, uh, Coach Amy Reed does a good job with that. Bowling's right around the corner, so there's a lot of things happening at Fepel. The there. volleyball team oh, uh, is awesome. Miss Andrew Pinton and Coach Chris Sherbert do such a great job with the volleyball team. I'm so proud of them, and they, and their young team this year is still more competing, doing really well, and just beat Real Town. So proud of them. Yeah, no doubt about it. Fayetteville and Thorsby tomorrow night kick off at seven o'clock at Farm Links Field. Hope to see you there, Coach. Hope to see you back next week. Thank you. Absolutely, go Wolves. Coach John Limbaugh, the head football coach and athletic director at Fayetteville Wolves, the Wolves and uh, Thorsby, the Rebels, uh, tomorrow night kick off seven o'clock at Farm Links Field. More day break in a minute.